<laughs> these two years you spent traveling, where did you go? What did you do? Um, I went to uh, Chi. So I went to Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Thailand in December um, last year. And then later on, I went to um, um, Berlin okay. and England on my own. I went to Brighton because I just, I just had to see what's happening on, on the other side. You yeah. know, People talk, we watch TV, but like... I don't think I was fully ready for what I experienced, you know, mm -hmm. like, first of all, like, stereotypes were totally different. People were living. Yeah. It was beautiful to see life, you know, people just being and somehow everyone knowing where their space is, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I loved, I love Berlin. Berlin is crazy. I, that city never sleeps, I can't explain. Yeah. Like, it was crazy. I enjoyed myself. I learned a lot. I met a lot of people. Luckily, I speak German, so... You speak German? Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Long story. <laughs> So I could hang with the locals and actually go see how the people live, not like not be a tourist. tourist yeah, stuff. I don't like that vibe. And then uh, went to um, New York because mm -hmm. I was like, okay, this is where everybody makes it. What's going on here? And you said you played the Apollo Theater. Yeah, this was like uh, like a month back. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It's yeah, I'm getting off the starting blocks yeah. as I see it. Um, heading for I don't know. Like it doesn't end, I'm just carrying on. Like I love traveling though, because I feel like I learned so much from it mm. and you know, it keeps the music going because yeah. then you get something really fresh to talk about. Now the Apollo Theater, I think is, it's every musician's dream to play at the Apollo Theater. Yeah. What was it like standing there knowing that you were actually going to perform to an audience at the iconic Apollo Theater? Um, of course I was nervous, mm. I mean rightly so, I mean, had, have, I've course. got a lot of respect yeah. for the Apollo. <laughs> it's not just like around the corner. So I was really, really nervous, but excited. You know, I look back at the journey and I'm thinking last time, I mean, when I told my granddad, I was like, listen, I'm playing at the Apollo. He was like, he was lost there to like watch Aretha Franklin. So he yeah. understood like the magnitude of this event. And I, it made me understand like, wow, actually this, it's a moment, you know, like yeah. they actually like my sort of music and I don't know like I was I was stunned I guess mm -hmm. but I, I just did what I had to do you know because yeah. that Apollo theater or audience they're really harsh eh? like really? if you yeah they'll boo you they'll, they'll boo, you. boo you yeah if you suck which is good though yeah, that's, that's what scary. gives everybody the nerves it's like if you suck like you can tell that you're flopping because the audience they don't compromise you oh know they'll gosh. either cheer you on or or boo you off or boo you off yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I think I got it lenient because it was part of a festival, Africa mm -hmm. Now. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, they understood me from Africa. Nah, they love the music. <laughs> <laughs> they loved it, I'm sure. That's amazing. Now, what's, what's the international reception been like to, to your music? Um, I don't want to sound like... Pretentious. Or yeah, anything, yeah, but like... But they like it. Yeah, they <laughs> really like it. And I, that's like a, a sign, I guess, yeah. you know, do something with it. And that's why I've taken Ascension where I have... Mm -hmm because um, I'm thinking I may be at the tip of the piece of Africa, yeah. but like there's a whole lot of people that actually like what I do. So that's why I've kind of like challenged myself and you know, spoke about different things, which usually culturally, I probably would have just shied away from and just yeah. carried on, you know, just jamming, you know. So that's why, yeah, the fact that I've, I've gotten uh, international response, that's what's actually like pushed me to do what I've done with Ascension.